Kia ora, I'm David Taster with 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This is we get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock with news. The fall in bond prices, that is the rise in bond yields, is biting even harder today. Equity market valuations are taking a hit from the pressure on capitalisation as rates rise. And a looming US government shutdown isn't helping sentiment either. And JP Morgan boss Jamie Dimon is now worried the Fed could take its policy rate all the way up to 7%, and the world is not prepared for that. September American consumer sentiment, as tracked by the conference board, was expected to slip from August, and it retreated more than expected. But that retreat only took it back to levels it has held since mid-2022, until the more recent rises. The survey did find little change in present conditions, but that the political situation and high interest rates are affecting future expectations. And staying in the US, regulators have sued Amazon, alleging that the internet giant is illegally maintaining monopoly power. The Federal Trade Commission said Amazon uses a set of interlocking anti-competitive and unfair strategies to push up prices and stifle competition. And Singapore is investigating a large money laundering case, one likely to damage its banking system integrity in the island hub. And Singapore's industrial production shrank more than 12% year-on-year in August, more than market forecasts of a 3.1% drop, and slipping further from a downwardly revised 1.1% fall in the previous month. And in Hong Kong, major law firms there are shedding staff at an increasing rate as deals with the mainland dry up. The clouds from China's economic woes are affecting the whole region. In Australia, the popular, that is popular with voters, not business, the popular Premier Daniel Andrews has suddenly quit, calling time on an active period as Premier of Victoria. The US Treasury 10-year yield starts today up another three basis points from yesterday's high to 4.56%. And Wall Street's Tuesday session is sharply lower on the strong bond market signals, with the S&P 500 down a full 1.5% to a three-month low. And the price of gold will start today at just on $1,901 an ounce. That's down $15 from yesterday. But oil prices are just 50 US cents firmer, just on $90 a barrel in the US, while the international Brent price is just over $92.50 a barrel. And the Kiwi dollar starts today at 59.5 US cents, a little change from this time yesterday. Against the Aussie, we're unchanged at 92.9 Australian cents. Against the Euro, we're still at 56.3 Euro cents. And that all means our trade weight index starts today still at 69.5. Get more news about the New Zealand economy from interest.co.nz. Kia ora, I'm David Chaston, and we'll do this again tomorrow.